एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल नीमा फाउंडेशन एंड पीनल पटेल एंड माय टुडेज गेस्ट इज श्री नटू भाई पटेल ही इज होलिस्टिक हीलर ऑथर एंड मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर इन दिस सेशन माय ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू गेट डिटेल इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग होलिस्टिक हीलिंग आर्ट नाउ लेट मी स्टार्ट विद फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज हीलिंग सी आवर बॉडी इज सेल्फ रेगुलेटिंग and self healing bio organism that means our body try to maintain the healthy condition by itself where this healing is a process to maintain the healthy condition in certain condition that means our body is always try to reverse the unhealthy state to healthy one in healing mode then tell me about what is healing mode see in our in our body we have two operating system one is called sympathetic system and another is called parasympathetic system now in sympathetic system body create the stress to stimulate the biochemical process and boost the energy of the body why in parasympathetic system body create the relaxation response according to new scientific research our body can heal by itself only in stress free mode that means body heal only in relaxation response mode this relaxation response mode is called the healing mode now i understand about the uh, healing mode then what is holistic healing see in healing process has two aspect one is gross aspect and another is a subtle aspects that means one is a physical aspect that is our body mm-hmm. and the second one is a spiritual aspect that is mind so here in healing process we are using body and mind too so we use the word holistic which we derive from word holy therefore this process we call as holistic healing in other word in this healing process we are dealing with this physical body subtle body causal body also so sometime we call this as whole body healing so here ultimately in this healing process we are healing body and mind too then what is exactly you are doing in the holistic healing give me some more details see in this process of healing first part is we try to understand the uniqueness of a person that means what type of body is what type of mind is then we focus on health disorder symptoms and connected issues emotional mental issues related to their life then after that we give one new protocol of living based on four aspects food habit lifestyle thinking and balancing of energy system 
So here, our goal is to create the balance, harmony and rhythm between the energy body and physical body. Now, uh, what is the scientific base of this uh, process of holistic healing? See, according new research in genetics and epigenetics, our old perception about this body is now altogether changed. Actually, our body is 60 to 100 trillion cell colony. And every second is changed. Millions of cells die and new millions of cells born. So every second, 24-7, body is changing, recycled all the time. Mm -hmm. Now, according to one research study, say 95% cell of our body are changing three months. Probably 98% cell are changed within a six month. That means our body is self healing and self regulating by organism is changing trying to attain the healthy state all the time. When we change our food habit, our lifestyle, our thinking and our energy system, we can create a new healthy cell to replace the unhealthy cell. So we can achieve the health of body and mind too. If any patient uh, with chronic complex diseases come to you, how can you heal these kind of uh, patients? See, in holistic healing, what type of disease is not much more important, but what type of person is very important. Because in this healing process, patient must have discipline and ability to accept the change in life. Also, Patient must have a faith in healing process, faith in healer and faith in self is also very important. Then, if we change uh, food habits, lifestyle, thinking and energy system of the body, definitely patient can heal the body. Now, what is the main difference between uh, treatment given by allopathy doctor or uh, holistic healing? See, generally, allopathy doctors in non-surgical disease, generally their focus is on symptoms of the disease. Mostly, they write some chemical-based protocol to reverse the symptoms and patient feel good. In surgical also, their focus is on physical body also, only physical. But in holistic healing, our focus is on body and mind because we are changing the lifestyle, food habit, thinking, and energy system of the body. So overall, the main difference between the allopathy treatment and our holistic treatment is allopathy doctors are focusing on physical body only. While in holistic healing, our focus is on both body and mind too. How this holistic healing approach helpful to all types of chronic complex disorder patients? Let me first try to understand this healing process by one simple illustration of computer. 
let's say you have a computer and you have some virus in the computer what you are doing you are putting some antivirus in if it won't work then you try again another antivirus at the end if it won't solve your problem of computer you have only choices to reformat the computer this holistic healing is exactly the same process of reformatting the body mind computer so we are changing the four aspects of life food habit lifestyle thinking and energy system so naturally the unhealthy cell are already replaced by the healthy one in this process so we can heal any kind of disorder by this healing process what type of taste you recommend to any person to stay healthy see according ayurveda wisdom there are five tastes are very important for everyone on daily basis and this taste are number one there must be a uh, bowel movement in the morning without any kind of medication number 2 there must be a some signal of hunger in the day time thought you must have a nice sleep natural nice sleep at night number 4 you must have a natural signal of thirst and you have a natural uh, urination accordingly and the last test is your mind must be free from all kind of negative emotion about anyone if you perform all this fight is regularly on daily basis there is no need to take any biochemical test for it when you look at to the long living population you can see they are healthy and long living not because of early detection but because of their natural lifestyle and stress free lifestyle they are healthy mm -hmm. of course when you have some some disorder health disorder disorder you can take the biochemical test you check it out that uh, by any chemical test there's no problem mm -hmm. why you are of opinion to uh, take minimum chemicals in your body in any form see we are eating three type of food one is god made food that is fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. another is man made food that is cooked food mm -hmm. in the kitchen and third one is machine made food now in this fast life mostly people are using more man machine made food mm -hmm. so in all this ticket again there is chemical more or less but in machine made food there is maximum chemical in it now our body when you when you when any chemical goes to your system it remains as a toxin in the body and it goes directly to the liver that means liver need to work hard to remove that toxin and ultimately it create some damage and overload to our liver when you look at to the 20 years back there is only the alcoholic liver cirrhosis but nowadays 
there is non alcoholic liver cirrhosis is very common and that is because of the more chemical use in our body that's why i try to avoid i ask to avoid mainly most of the chemical then what about allopathy chemical based medication see for short management and critical management allopathy medication is wonderful no doubt about it but you need to be careful when you are using this chemical based medication for a chronic disease for a long long time then it creates some problem some side effect in our body there is in fact there is no chemical based medication which has no side effect so all medication has some more or less side effect so to my opinion it is most advisable is to take the minimum chemical based medication Now I am curious to know about how many different therapies are existent in the world. To best of my knowledge, there are more than hundred different therapies people are using in different culture, different countries. But among them, the most popular are our allopathy, Ayurveda, homeopathy. acupuncture acupressure naturopathy reiki pranic magnetic therapy uh, even you can say nlp neuro linguistic programming eft emotional freedom technique cbt cognitive behavior therapy there are many many therapies are there people are using Now uh, which therapy is giving best result in among all these therapies Now to get the right answer let me give you the detail about one research study conducted by WHO in 2005 in Thailand mm -hmm. In Thailand there are five different therapies are popular one is allopathy another is acupuncture third one is allopathy and acupuncture combined fourth one is some home remedy type of healing therapy based on home remedy and the fifth one is their traditional healing method from their culture these are the five methods are very popular now for five years WHO has done the research on that which one is more effective therapy concerned to the patient satisfaction at the end their conclusion is all therapy are equally efficient and effective now my answer to your question is all therapies which therapy uh, the therapy which you believe means you are agree on you are you are you have faith in that therapy mm. is most effective for you so here actually the faith in therapy faith in healing healer faith in self are very important all therapies are meaningful in their own ways but it depend on patient whether he believe in it or not uh, now what is the difference between allopathic treatment and this holistic healing see all different therapies are working on the symptoms or some health disorder and their focus is to use some skill or use some medication to reverse the symptom or to help the disorder but in holistic healing is based on 
the root cause and the whole body so in holistic healing first we connect with the patient heartily with sympathy and empathy and we understand the uniqueness of a person and then we recommend the change in the life about food habit lifestyle thinking energy system and person can achieve the perfect health that is our goal what is your holistic uh, view point when someone become victim of uh, some diseases see my simple understanding when someone has some disease my simple understanding is they need some change in their life there is something wrong somewhere in living that means there may be something wrong in food habit and or in lifestyle and or some thinking some beliefs mindset and or some energy system that is my easiest simplest understanding this is the last question who is the healer those doctors therapists motivational speaker vaidyas who are helping connecting the patient or a person heartily selflessly with sympathy and compassion to help the patient they are all healer that means any doctor any vaidya or a therapist spend more time for patient without considering the commercial aspects and helping to the patient with sympathy and empathy they are all healer so we have seen in this holistic healing approach body and mind are equally important to achieve perfect health if you like my video then share and subscribe to my channel nima foundation